receivers. Number 20, Thad McFadden, standing in the end zone. In front of him, number four, Michael Jones. They are both excellent. Jones, 31.5 yards, average on kickoff returns. Thad McFadden averages 16 and a half yards. They line up in that I formation to try to force teams to kick to number four, Michael Jones, because he is a game breaker. The kicker for Kentucky is an excellent kicker, Joe Worley. He is a freshman from Oakwood, Virginia, and he became the Kentucky kicker at the middle of the year when Jim Ryder, the junior, pulled a groin and has not been able to take over the job. There is the kick. It is going down to number four, Michael Jones. You see how slippery he can be to the 29-yard line. They are led by a sophomore quarterback by the name of Mike Howard, number seven. Joe Armantrout, Mark Harrison are the running backs. Harrison is the tailback, and he'll carry the ball most of the time. Pearson, Toon, McFadden, the receivers. Al Toon, number 87, is an all-Big Ten receiver and will play to the side that Wisconsin wants to run on first down from the 29. Howard it out right away sees the excellent Kentucky coverage four of the players who normally start for Kentucky are not in there three due to suspension for discipline one due to an injury the defensive ends are Mazza and Burrell the four down linemen Dumble, Hare, Thompson and Smith the linebackers Urano and Cam Jacobs Jacobs a man who they think will have a shot in the pros for second down ten this is Wisconsin from the 29 a single setback it goes to number 23 Armin Trout who gets it across the 40 Gary Claiborne has resurrected Kentucky football. Here comes Armand trying to get across the 45 and 46. If Honor is a big fullback. He is 6'3", 215, wears number 31. This is second down seven, Wisconsin, from their own 46-yard line. Big and powerful. Some people compare them to Florida in the Southeastern Conference. Howard, it is complete to the tight end, Brett Pearson, number 86. Pearson, and now Wisconsin lines up three receivers split off the top of your screen. A single setback is Armand Trout on a first and 10 from the Kentucky 44-yard line. Good protection. And across the middle, it is complete. That is number 20, Thad McFadden, going out of bounds. 14-yard reception that time, first and 10 from the 30. Now the back's in an eye for this multiple offense of the Wisconsin Badgers. Long count, maybe an audible from Howard. Out the 30. It is complete to Al Toon. Toon for the 21 and a half yard line. The running backs are 31 Bonner and 34 Harrison. This is second down one whistle sounds I think there will be a delay of the game call and there is a delay for Wisconsin second down six back to the 26 yard line now of Kentucky Jackson and I and the receivers up to the top of the screen again here is Mark Harrison number 34 he gets only a couple he's a converted quarterback and safety Durano is the best they have at that other spot against the run third and three big play for Wisconsin Incomplete. Kentucky holes again. Intended for Michael Jones. Spawn Gregory, a freshman from Green Bay. He has kicked 15, excuse me, 16 field goals this year. An excellent young kicker. This will be a 40-yard attempt off the artificial surface here at Legion Field. It is good. Wisconsin has drawn first blood at Legion Field in Birmingham with 11.32 to go. Quarter number one, the Wisconsin Badgers three. A wild catch from Kentucky, nothing. Both of them are excellent returning the ball. Gregory with a kickoff. Coming down to 25, Mark Logan, freshman. The scene, but whammy down he goes at the 15 yard line. And there's the Kentucky offensive team. Ransdell, as Tim likes to call him, the John Wayne gritty quarterback. Adams and Derry in the backfield. White, Pitts, Phillips, the starters at the wide receiver positions. The offensive line led by center Ken Petroviak and Jim Reichwine, Bob Shirtlip, that left tackle, number 51, also an excellent player. They're not as big as a lot of offensive lines, but they seem to get the job done. Number four, Cornell Burbage in there also as a receiver right now. Here's Ransdell. He's going to give it to the main man, George Adams. He gets only a couple. There's the Wisconsin defensive alignment. Daryl Sims, Michael Boykins, and Scott Burgold are the big down linemen. Jordan and Graff, they call them thunder and lightning, are the outside linebackers. Melka and Raditz on the inside. Richard Johnson, 29 and stills, are excellent corners. Second down eight from the 18. There's Kentucky in that scramble offensive alignment. Tim will explain that to you in a moment. They go to George Adams again. Adams gets to the 21 and a half just outside their 20. Double tight ends are 87 wide and 81 Lucas. Ransdell scrambling out of that pocket. Throwing on the run. He had nowhere to go. Throw out of this punt formation. And I think the 
will punt it deep in his own territory. He doesn't get away a very good one. It's going to go to the up back at the 48-yard line. He shanked it over to the right side, and Wisconsin's going to set up first and 10 Wisconsin from the 48 of Kentucky. Wisconsin leads 3-0. 9.46 to go first quarter. That pass is complete. And knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line is tight end Brett Pearson, number 86. And he catches the ball well, as you can see. That's how the teams match up there scoring-wise. First and 10, Wisconsin with the 31 of Kentucky. Mark Harrison to the 26. You see Mark Harrison. Just because Peyton can carry it like the loaf of bread doesn't mean Mark can. Mark's had a great year, though. 611 yards in the last four games. Here's Armand Trout trying to get some inside yardage and only about a yard. Come in a bowl game and go the whole way, but he's being forced to do it right now. On a third down four, here's Mark Harrison. He gets it. Loses his helmet, but gets all the way down to the 14-yard line. Harrison's only 5'9", 190. First down 10 from the 14-yard line. Wisconsin. Here's Mike Howard. Howard hit as he throws. It's complete to the four-yard line to Al Toon. First and goal from the four, Wisconsin. Mark Harrison fumbles the ball into the end zone. Who fell on it? If it was Toon, it'll be a touchdown, but he may be spotted down. Remember, the ground can't cause the fumble. That's what the official's saying. So it's second down three now. There's that Walter Payton carrying the ball style by Harrison. Here is number 44, Bobby Taylor. He doesn't get anywhere. Oh, well, Jerry Kurt coached in the first Hall of Fame game seven years ago when he was at Maryland. Howard trying to get out of that pressure, throwing on the run. Touchdown to number 20, Thad McFadden. They had to wait just a moment to see if he had control of the ball inside the end zone. Quarterback holding number 10. And the point after is good, and Wisconsin has taken a 10 to nothing lead with 5.34 to go in the first quarter. for Christmas. I thought that's why he was wearing it. And the kickoff comes down to Mark Logan for Kentucky. Let's see if Logan can get that picket fence. Just needs a seam. There he goes out to the 31-yard line. Excellent kickoff return. Let's see what Kentucky does this time with a little bit better field position. That's Joker Joe Phillips, number eight in motion. And it's complete to Phillips. He goes out of bounds. At the 37 and a half, Gary Eisen is going to want to stay out of those second long situations. Here it is, second down four from the 37. George Adams tries to go to the right side. Penetration by Wisconsin. Adams gets nothing. And I think they feel as though they're two of the strongest linebackers as a pair in the league. It's complete to Joe Phillips for the first down for Kentucky, their first one of the day. Slot right formation for the Wildcats. First and ten from the 45. Here's pitch to number 22, Mark Higgs. Higgs can break the big ones. Higgs is just 5'7", 185, freshman from Owensboro. Second down one. And Kentucky gets the first down to about the 43-yard line. Record setting 72 degrees today at 64 at game time. Randall on first down. It is complete. To the 33-yard line, to number 87, tight end Oliver White. On a first down 10, Kentucky at the 32-yard line of Wisconsin. Badgers leading 10 to nothing, 3.18 to go, first quarter. Ransler, short drop, quick toss, incomplete. And ten, second down 10, the 32 of Wisconsin. Ransler. Hits Adams, he drops it, and they are signaling incomplete. He did not have control. From the 32-yard line of Wisconsin, third down 10. Goes right back to Adams. He dives forward to the 26. He's going to be three or four yards shy. He had two 50 yarders versus Vanderbilt. This one's going to be about a 42 and a half to 43 yarder. Let's call it a 43 yard attempt. Hit it well. But it's wide to the right, and Kentucky fails to get on the board with two of the best coaches in football in this game. Jerry Claiborne from Kentucky, Dave McLean from Wisconsin. First down, 10 batches from the 25. 2.14 to go, quarter number one. Three receivers split wide to the left side for the Badgers this time. Howard, plenty of time, pops it over the middle, and it's complete to the 31-yard line to number 20, Thad McFadden. But he was sick, lost about 20 pounds, couldn't work on it. This is second down three from the 32. Mike Howard going upstairs. Tune is open. Can't get 
get it at the 18-yard line. Very good deep cut by team player. Third down three from the 32, Wisconsin. Big guy, too, 6'5", is Altoon. Howard. Right of the middle, incomplete. Was a punt, 39.5. Kentucky almost got to that ball. Burbage with the catch. And they swarmed under by Badgers. Back around the 35-yard line. He said he's looking at 15 Wisconsin players. On the first down, 10. Kentucky, George Adams finds the seam. Near the 50-yard line. That's probably a real interesting Freudian slip for George Adams. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> because yeah. he very well may be a George Rogers-type professional runner. To the 48-yard line, that's Mark Logan. He's come a long way, both athletically, academically, and as a person. Second down eight from the 48. Ransdell. Getting good protection. Can't find anybody. Throws on the run incomplete. The SEC. Nine, something else again. On the third down eight, Ransdell under pressure. Goes to Adams. Adams loses yardage on the play. Oh, Richard Johnson is there. That's the end of the first quarter. Wisconsin leading Kentucky 10 to nothing. He does it all from back there. As you mentioned, he runs, he punts, he passes. This time he kicks. Not a very good one again. Very high, but very short. Belford fair catches it at the 22-yard line. They haven't had any big plays. They've gone for the bomb a couple of times. The secondary has played reasonably well. It'll be first down 10 from the 22. Out to about the 28-yard line goes Joe Herman out and bring in number 34, Mark Harrison. On second down four from the 28, and there's number 34. Darting and diving out to about the 31 yard line. If you can believe it, you just saw a picture of rain. Our weather forecast is for fair skies, 55 degrees, and they've been clear all day. As you watch the run for the first down out to the 36 yard line by Harrison. Didn't bother Chuck Long of Iowa the other night in the Freedom Bowl. That was incredible. This pass is complete to Pearson for about eight or nine yards out to the 45 yard line. Made some sophomore mistakes early, but learned from him and has really come on strong in a stretch drive. 10 TDs, 11 interceptions, 2,000 yards. He came from Springfield, Illinois. They called him the Springfield Rifle. Here comes that Kentucky blitz. Howard gets it off, and it is complete at the 45-yard line of Kentucky. This is where Kentucky... Holding offense, repeat second down. Rain starting to fall here at the Hall of Fame Bowl. Nobody's prepared for it. The skies were clear when this game started. Hand off to Ermintrout, and he falls down on the slippery turf. This is third and eight. Let's see what the Wisconsin offense does. Four-man rush by Kentucky. Howard in the pocket. What an arm. Intended for two at the 32 incomplete. But intimidation is a, is a weapon that you have to use a little bit as a defensive back. They won't let you hit the offensive receivers on the floor. There's Cornell Burbage with the reception. He signaled fair catch, but it was a very faint signal. Dead ball. Personal foul against the kicking team. First up. This is an exclusive brand new development in television, though. You mark it down. You'll be seeing a lot of use of that little camera over the years. But I got an exclusive property of WTBS to use. And, and the front moved in. And the temperature is dropping, too, I might add. Here is Ransdell to the 40, about three yards. As you want. It'll be fine players in the pros up front. It'll be third down three, Kentucky, from the 40. Pre-snap shifting going on. And a wild catch. Ransdell finds George Adams for the first down. Out to the 46-yard line. Clipping during the run against the offense. Repeat third down. We sound a little funny there. We were hearing a lot of <laughs> directing instructions for our truck. Got a little turned around there. Here we go. On third down and 11. Gain of only a couple with averaging 44 and a half yards per punt. <laughs> Good one off this time. McFadden at the 22. Tackles. He may be gone. He's got the big speed. It's going to be a foot raise. Calhoun, the punter, knocked him out of bounds. No penalty markers are down. Let's see if that Kentucky defense can tighten up inside the 10 yard line again. They're good down here. Under some defensive pressure, penalty goes down, it's intercepted. And brought out to the 20-yard line, but there is a penalty marker. Offsides, defense, 
marked off the offside defense. Now here comes the personal foul. Personal foul Wisconsin. against the uh, offensive, uh, offensive team. There you go. And against Wisconsin, it's now first and 20 at the 21, and that's the bottom line. Mike Howard completes it again. Poop to the 13-yard line. Big Brett Pearson. Split backs, and Dave Arneson, number 85, is the tight end. Pro set formation for the Wisconsin Badgers. Here's the handoff to Mark Harrison. Hit behind the line. Good penetration. And defensive end Brian Williams was suspended due to disciplinary reasons. And Jerry Reese is injured with a pinched nerve with normal defensive right tackle. Third and 11 from the college due. Play of the game. Offense. Repeat third down. Johnson having trouble getting it in the end zone after the 67-yard punt return from McFadden. Three receivers to the right side. Handoff to Armantrout. But he gets only to the 10-yard line, and down he goes. Well, they coach the Wisconsin running backs. If there's any doubt, McLean and Dudley say the same thing. If there's any doubt, take it upfield. That time, if Armand Kraut might have broken to the sidelines, there was nobody home out there. And the 27-yarder is good by Todd Gregory. Two field goals in this game tonight. Wisconsin takes a 13-0 lead with 7.05 to go. Quarter number two. So, once again... Kentucky has held the Badgers out of the end zone twice from within the 20-yard line. Here's the kickoff. They're going to down it in the end zone. Give them a moving target because Wisconsin can really come and get you given a chance. Yeah, they play fake to the back to hold those linebackers and then try to bring it out there to 87 Oliver White. On a second down 10, there's that pre-snap scramble by the Wildcats. They go into a standard pro set formation now with twin setbacks. Ransom pops it out to Phillips. And Phillips... I think he's a defensive back in disguise. On third down one. Oh, oh. Higgs picks it up back there, but a loss on the play. Kicked it too far, really, because you'll outkick your coverage. And that's kind of what happened the last time. There's a good hang time from this one. And McFadden gets it at the 32-yard line. Now it's uh, winds have calmed again, and the skies look to be pretty clear, and the rain doesn't seem to be falling at the moment. Wisconsin ball, first down 10 from their own 32. Howard has a long time in the pocket looking for Toon. And Toon had to try to cut back the big concern of mine. Second down 10 from the 32. Here's Howard. Gives to Armand Trout. Not much going. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Gain of maybe one. Thompson, Wilkins, Millen, Hare. Third down nine. Howard goes oh. down. And he threw the ball to his center. <laughs> to number 51, Dan Turkey. He's an offensive lineman. You can't catch the ball. But deep leader Dan pulled it down and headed upfield. Get some good pressure on the freshman. Not very good, and he got away a long one. Burbage may have a chance for a return, though. Had to catch it over his shoulder. Good coverage by Wisconsin. Burbage down at the 20-yard line. There's Ransdell checking off the line of scrimmage. Here they come, Bob. He saw that, and he screams it out here and wanted to get it to Derry. Adams to get a pass when he steps up there. Let's see what happens. Nope, he's going to stay in for protection. It's incomplete again. They tried to get it to Burbage. All right, it's third and ten from the 20. Here's Ramsden. Steps up in there. Fires right across the middle. Almost intercepted. Penalty marker down. Be good defensive pass coverage by the inside linebackers. Holding against Kentucky. Will the Wildcats? He'll announce it now. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense. So it's a, a net five-yard difference. <laughs> but it seems like he's always around when the ball is tipped up in the air or dropped on the ground. Raditz is always there for the other fellows to get him. Third and five. Ransdell complete to Phillips. First down, Kentucky. The kind of play Kentucky needed. First down, 10 from the 40 for Kentucky now. Nice play fake. And once again, George Adams can't hold on to the ball. They discovered him as a pass receiver, as you mentioned earlier, about halfway through the season. He ended up as their third leading pass receiver. It's second down, 10. Had to throw it away. Outstanding. Third and 10 from the 40 yard line. Kentucky. The trail 13 nothing in this game. Ramsden. Good time in the pocket. Can't find anybody. Now throws. Very cool under pressure, but he really just threw the ball away. His fourth and ten, however, and he elects to punt the ball away again. That's a good pop on it this time. Fadden at the 23-yard line. Needs a block. Gets it. Ooh, he almost slipped through there again. Everybody works a little bit harder to make Looking. sure that they're in front of their man. Here in one back. First down. Middle to Armantrout gets across the 20. By the way, wherever you're watching, whether it's on 
cable or on a TV station around the country. We hope you're enjoying the telecast tonight on Turner Network Television and on WTBS. Here's the handoff to Harrison. Broke the tackle or two. Short first down, though, off the 23-yard line. Third down three. Big play for Kentucky defense. Here. Let's see how they do. Harrison with plenty of time. There it is. It's picked off by Kentucky Calhoun. I said Harrison. Of course, I meant Howard. Calhoun with the interception. He had seven to lead the conference. All-conference defensive back this year. He was all-conference punter last year. Ransdell, play fake, throws over the middle, and it's open and complete to Oliver White to the 23-yard line. Kentucky trailing 13 to nothing with 2.44 to go. He saw the coverage and pulled up. Good decision, Oliver. Now they give it to George Adams. Adams slipping through. He gets inside the 20. Second down four from the 17. Ransdell, Adams. Trying to get inside the 15. He's going to be about a yard short. of kept that group of guys together. They've got Phillips, number eight, lined up in the backfield. Pressure on Ransdell, but he's getting away. Looking, looking. Running now. First down, Bill Ransdell. What a big play by the quarterback. Here come the Wildcats. It's first and goal inside the nine. They have not scored in this game. 25 is Logan. Touchdown. Attempt by Warley. And it's good. And now it's 13-7, and all of a sudden this game has an entirely different complexion. Nobody kicked deep to Wisconsin. And I would think that'd be a good idea. Keep it away from those two rascals, but here we go again. And it's Jones from the five. Looking for the seam. Doesn't get it. Out to the 24 and down he goes. Jones to the left side, tuned to the right side. And they hand it to Armand Trout. He wiggles his way through the line for a first down. And more than a first down. Armand Trout averaged four and a half yards per carry on the year. But he didn't carry all that much. Primarily a blocking fullback. He's getting a lot of work tonight. Though. First down 10 from 47, Wisconsin. Mike Howard, the sophomore quarterback. He hits McFadden. He is hard to bring down. McFadden is down. He is a redshirt sophomore. And Trout again. He is just running wild tonight. Down there at the 37. He stops the clock. It'll start again as soon as they set up. Herman Trout again. Number 23, the first down. Running like a man celebrating the birth of his new kid. We found Wisconsin now in field goal range, if not touchdown range. Setback. It's 31 bar. Howard, a lot of time to throw. Can't find anybody in there. Goes. Jones is wide open. Down he goes about the 20-yard line. I'm sure his heart had just stopped. They ball the coverage. Michael Jones is alone in the end zone on that play. Second down six. Howard dumps it right over the middle. Incomplete. In and out of the hands. Illegal participation. 12 men on the field against the defense. First up. A little confusion is not unlikely. And a big mistake. First and goal from the 10. Howard rolling a lot of time. Throwing over the middle. It is complete at the 5. To tune down at the 3. And the clock to 8 seconds. 7, 6, 5. And stops at 6. It's a severe angle from the left hash mark in that close as you can see. And the 20 yarder is good. 16 to 7 with two seconds remaining in the halftime. Tough to run back. Logan and Adams are back. Here comes Adams. Throw He's going to throw it back. And this is Oliver White, the tight end. He needs a block. They don't give it to him, but he gets past him anyway. And White out to the 43 yard line. He needed one block and just couldn't get it. Oliver White goes down, tripped up by 17. Troy Spencer. A little Kentucky trickery to win the first half. Wisconsin leading the game 16 to 7, and we'll be back with halftime festivities right after this. One of the coaches for Wisconsin got off the airplane when they landed, had on a flowered shirt and short pants, and said, Show me the beach. That had to be Ron McCrow. <laughs> Here comes Logan. He needs one block. He's got the great speed. Breaks the tackle and goes to the 46 yard line. Expect to see that. They're never going to lay down. On the first down, George Adams, 33. Hauled down hard by 60, Daryl Sims. These fellas uh, help Tim Foley and myself more than we can ever tell. It's complete. Oh, what a hit. 
to the 28-yard line. Good job, Wayne. Just stay off the field. First down 10 from the 27. Here's Ramsdale. Plenty of time. Over the middle. It's complete to Adams. Down to the 11-yard line. Wildcats have stormed back here. First and 10 from the 11. Higgs is a fullback, Bob. They're having a little trouble with the formation. Ramsdale just keeps the ball. Penalty marker does go down on the play. Uh, was the uh, problem with uh, Kentucky when they threw the touchdown. It's first down and 15 from the 16. Here comes 22 hits. Nothing happening. He is jammed up, but look at the strength he has. He Hillis brought him along as an inside linebacker. He's going to be a pro linebacker, I imagine. Second down, 11. Ransdell, plenty of time. Looking incomplete at the five-yard line. Great coverage. Nickelback defense for Wisconsin now. Third down, 11. Kentucky from the 12. Phillips in motion. Ransdell. To Joe Phillips, to the five. It's going to be short, of course, of the first down. He had to get to the one-yard line. Is in for a field goal attempt. He missed a 43-yarder earlier. This one's going to be about 21 yards. And it's good. And we have a 16 to 10 football game now. 22 yard field goal officially by Joe Worley. 11 28 to go third. Kentucky was ha having in the second half. They start out by helping. Here's this man, Mike Jones. 31 and a half yards per kickoff return he averages. Didn't get out there this time. I think that's good. And that happened to three of the young men on the Kentucky team between the last regular game and the defensive team, the last regular game. This bowl game it hurt Kentucky. No question about it. Arvin Trout continues to run well. There's the quarterbacks. Sophomore Mike Howard hands it to Mark Harrison on a third down short yardage, and he drives all the way out near the 40-yard line. A first down 10 from the 39-yard line. Two receivers right, one left. Howard in a passing formation. And he has Mike Jones wide open. Jones to the 30, tackle from behind. Michael Jones' first catch, a 30-yarder of the evening. First down 10, Wisconsin at the 31 of Kentucky. Here's Mark Harrison, who gets... Uh, this will be second down nine from the 30-yard line. Wisconsin, 16, Kentucky 10. Howard. Boy, he airs it out nicely. Overthrows Michael Jones. Third and nine from the 30. Here's Mark Harrison. And he's brought down at the 23 by Cam Jacobs. That guy's cord is always plugged into the energy socket. 40-yard field goal attempt by Todd Gregory. Is good, and Wisconsin has found themselves a fine young field goal kicker. His fourth of the night. He set a Wisconsin record for number of field goals in a season with 16 regular. He has 20 now. This is Turner Network Television. They are great players, and we've spent some time with them while we've been in Birmingham, and I might add also that they are great gentlemen. They have their wives with them, and just wonderful folks. It's been a pleasure getting them all. Adams with problems at the two-yard line. First and ten from the Kentucky two-yard line, and boy, does Wisconsin like to play defense down here. Adams to the five. We'll also see who's in it. It is Dermonte Dawson, as Tim pointed out. He's gone into center, and Petroviak has moved over. Second down, seven. Trying to run out of their own end zone up to the six-yard line. <laughs> and he's still playing center, by the way. Dermonte Dawson is playing guard. Here's George Adams. He drives out there close to the first down. Chucky trailing by nine, 19 to 10, 7.35 to go, third quarter. Here's Ransel. Now he feels confident enough to throw. Screens left side, and down goes Mark Logan. And has become a real pro prospect as a defensive back. Second down, 13. Phillips in motion. Ransdell under pressure. Safety. Scott Burgold, 6'7", 260 pounds. Bet he used to go skiing up there on Rib Mountain in Wausau. And it's nullified by a face mask mask. They called non-flagrant, only a five-yard penalty. Second down, eight now. Ransdell under pressure again. Tries to throw it out to the safety valve on the left side. And says, is that enough, coach? As a freshman, he did that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> 18. Ransdell with time, but nobody there. Almost got it to Joe Phillips out at the 30. But Calhoun from his goal line. Good field level view there. And Calhoun hits an artillery shot out here to McFadden. Fair catch, 41. They came out of a cold winter. They've been out in the sunshine down here. And on the first down and 10, not much going for Wisconsin. They've got 
Jones, McFadden, and Toon, so don't be surprised to see that. Here's Howard throwing under pressure, and it's complete again to the big tied in Brett Pearson. Holding, offense, repeat, second down. Second down 18, Wisconsin now, back to their 34-yard line. Pro set formation, split running backs. They are Bonner and Harrison. Here's Howard, plenty of time, throws to Harrison. Harrison rammed out of bounds at 42 and a half. Third down nine, Wisconsin from the 43. Four-man rush, Howard stands tall in the pocket. Now breaking away, being chased by Hare. Finally brought down by Mazza. Dan Turk doing the snapping. Probably one of the best in college football as far as speed back to the punter. Here's Burbage at the 15. Out to about the 17, and down he goes. On a first down 10. Kentucky from their 18-yard line. Ransom completes the pass out to the 23-yard line. To qualified to play at Wisconsin, and everybody was happy about it. And is about to get his degree and got an A in the course, as you recall, to him. That's what A's do. As they run it out to the 30-yard line, will kind of reflect the attitudes of Dave McLean. Good work ethic. None of them have a big ego. None of them want to be treated any differently. They just get in there and do it. Ransom throwing under pressure. It's complete to the 39-yard line. Ransville's going to throw on the second down one. And he throws it over the outstretched arm. So it's third down and one. Full house backfield. And they give to Higgs, who breaks the tackle and gets the first down. Individual effort by the freshman Mark Higgs. He's only short. He's very similar to Mark Harrison that way. Very good bench press athlete also. First down, 10. Kentucky now from the 44. Ransville scrambling for some time to throw, still has pressure. Now just tucks it in and drives out to the 48 yard line. Gain of about four. Second down six from the 48. Ransville to Derry. On the sideline. And out of bounds at the 34 and a half yard line of Wisconsin. Until after the Georgia game as a pass receiver. We understand he has a twisted ankle. First down 10, Kentucky. Ransville. Gonna go down. Number 68, Lance Braneman from the 41 yard line of Wisconsin. Phillips goes in motion. Here's Ramsden. As a man open. Wham, he goes down. Gain of only about four, too. And he... Jim Hillis, the defensive coordinator for Wisconsin. Well, it sets up Kentucky, trailing 19 to 10, 48 seconds to go, third quarter. Number eight, Phillips in motion at the top of your screen. Slick ball handling by Ramsdell. And he tried to get the ball down there to 87, Oliver White at the fifth. I think he's got a chance. Ransdell with 151 yards in the air, second down 10 from the 27. Right over the middle. It is incomplete, intended for Tom Weary on third and 10 from the 27. He's Phillips in motion. And pressure screens to the left side. That's Logan, gets the good block. Logan, touchdown! yards, Mark Logan. Joe Ward. And he nails it. 1917. 26 seconds to go, third quarter. No, it's 1917. Got ourselves a whale of a ball game in the Hall of Fame Bowl. Birmingham, the eighth annual. And here comes Wisconsin out of the end zone. The 23 yard line comes Michael Jones. Driven back, but we'll check to see if Armitrop had been shaken up at all. Single setback to Mark Harrison. Here comes Harrison. Going to tackle the backfield. Down he goes. Number 74, Tom Wilkins. That's the end of the third quarter. This is Turner Network Television. Led all the way. Runs into his tailback, Mark Harrison, for a loss on the play. Remember the striking power of this Wisconsin offense. They don't want to give up an 80-yarder here. And you're right, no blitz, but pressure. It's complete to Taylor. Down he goes at the 27, short of the first down. Two punt for Wisconsin. Whoa, oh, and they get back. He's going to get it away left foot, and he's a soccer player, and what a fortunate break that he is. Sepicki, a St. Louis soccer player freshman, was under tremendous pressure from number 24, Gordon Jackson of Kentucky, but he left foots it, and the ball is rolling to the 22-yard line. Credited with a 50-yard punt for Scott Sepicki. Here comes Kentucky, number 22, Higgs. 
Oh, what an exciting runner. And out he goes to the 28-yard line. At least 8-3 this year. 22 Higgs, 29 Weary in the backfield. They give the Higgs through there. What acceleration. Out to the 35-yard line. was First down 10 from the 35-yard line. Slot left formation. Here they go with Higgs again. And Higgs rolls it out to the 43. And they're going to give it to him again. Running right, running left. And he gets the first down. Out to the 47-yard line. Once again, this time they give for the other tailback, George Adams. That's what happens when you have a man like Higgs out of that same formation. Slot left, backs in the eye. And they're going to run it until Wisconsin stops it. They stop it this time with the penetration. The defensive coordinator handling the flow of the game. Here goes Adams. Gets to the 40-yard line. Only two or three that time. Third down eight from the, actually closer to third down nine from the 41. Play fake. They throw to Adams. Adams to the 34-yard line. He needs to go to the 32. For the That's what you'd like to see if you're a pro scout or pro coach looking for somebody that can help you. It's a 52-yarder. His longest has been 50. Got a lot of leg into it. It's good. The longest field goal of Joe Worley's career. And Kentucky takes the lead by one. to go in this ball game. Kentucky leads for the first time. 20 to 19. This is Turner Network Television. I think you can expect to see the Wisconsin offense come to life here. Here's Michael Jones. Down he goes at the 18. I really didn't feel like Kentucky could run the ball down the field on Wisconsin. I thought Wisconsin was too strong defensively. Armentrout struggling getting out here to the 20 yard line. We can expend that energy someplace. Second down seven. That's Jones in motion to the top of your screen. Mike Howard, plenty of time. Rifles it downfield, and it's complete to Toon. And look at Toon dance and move. First and 10 Wisconsin from the 40. Now they're driving on Kentucky. Wildcats lead 20 to 19. Here's a reverse. It's Michael Jones. Mazza stayed home but missed the tackle, and Michael Jones gets it near the first down, about a nine-yard gain. This is a gamble situation for Wisconsin if they care to. They elect to just go to get the first down. Harrison slams it up in there and gets it. Penetrates inside and signaling first down. First and 10 from 48. He used both arms. <laughs> a double signal. Here we go, Howard. Incomplete at the 33-yard line. What a battle. Toon. Toon at 6-5 is down there on the 5-10. Maurice Douglas. Second down 10. From the 38 yard line of Kentucky. One point game. 6-41 remaining. Starts the trail. Howard rifles. 40. Yard. Well, now they spot it up here. Critical play both ways. Double tight ends as Tim pointed out. That's in the eye. Armin Trout and Harrison. Six foot four, Mike Howard just lowers his 205 pounds. Kentucky has two. And the and that's going to be a five-yard penalty. It's the third time, and I think what happened? They got to disguise. They got to move around. They got to hit work. First and 15 from near the 42-yard line. Here's Howard some pressure looking and throwing and complete at the 35 yard line and Mike Jones to the right side no tight end in there they hand the ball to Armantrout who runs it up the middle darts and dashes his way to the 31 yard line third down four big play Wisconsin Howard under pressure has time to throw it is complete to the 12 yard line to Mike Jones first down Calhoun covering on the play the scramble situation and off to 31, Brian Bonner, and Bonner spins down after a gain of a yard or so. Who have been undefeated in their final five games of the Big Ten season are playing for pride against the SEC. Howard. It is ruled complete at the nine-yard line, but a gain of only about four. He is into it. So is his team. Third and seven from the nine, Wisconsin. Howard, pressure. Down he goes at the nine. 
Kentucky just came firing. Their kicker is Todd Gregory. He has four on the night. A 25-yard attempt. Cops at a hole. It's a fake. Cops is a backup quarterback. He's scrambling and looking under pressure. Good coverage by Kentucky into the end zone. It's picked off by Mazza. well, I think. I believe it just slipped out of the hands of Cobza. Here's George Adams. Now Kentucky's going to try to just run out this clock. But remember, they got to get a first down, and Kentucky, both teams have two timeouts for me. This is the formation Kentucky likes. They give it to that tailback, George Adams. Hit in the backfield. And now let's go to Craig Sager. I predict pass. I've been wrong all year. There you go. <laughs> Go the opposite way on my predictions. George Adams. Calhoun is thinking about getting off in a hurry. There they come, and he got they a got wobbly punt. I think they got a piece of it, but it gets a Kentucky bounce. They got a piece of the ball. There's no penalty marker down. One of the there players from Wisconsin is down. I don't know. I'm not a referee, first but I wouldn't have called roughing. Roughing the kicker against the defense. Automatic first stop. Uh, 133 yards in penalties against Wisconsin. Tonight. Let's watch again and see. Now he hits him. Watch this. The ball is gone. The ball is away. Now, I wouldn't call roughing there personally, and I'm going to tell you why. He was blocked into the punter. Knowing that, I think you can only give five yards, especially Paul Calhoun. you got to credit him with a great job of fall into the turf. You know, the ABC affiliate in Miami, the president down there is Bill Ryan and watching this game. Both these teams had a great time here and they gave these folks a show. I know the Badger fans have to be proud of the effort put forth by the Wisconsin football team and those Kentucky fans and players have a real love affair going and I know they're excited right now. And there goes Jerry Claiborne. Get a little display of emotion from the very quiet coach. We'll be back with final comments from an exciting Hall of Fame Bowl. Kentucky 20, Wisconsin 19.